Yo, B Quanchi here, uh, doing something a little bit different on the channel today. I want to give a quick tutorial about getting Windows 3.1 installed in DOSBox. So something kind of learning about, so I'm not too knowledgeable about everything. I know some important things to do is to install audio and video drivers as well. But this is just going to focus the basics of getting Windows 3.1 on DOSBox. Some of the main reasons why you would want to uh, do this is if you um, Kind of like for retro gaming, if you have the old games that aren't compatible with uh, modern computers, modern uh, versions of Windows, you kind of want to emulate this so it can run in DOSBox, but it needs uh, it still needs a version of Windows. So this is Windows 3.1. So um, with it, I always kind of heard some unclear things when I was uh, learning about this at first, but you want to get Windows 3.1 and I'm just going to say Google it. You can find some downloads, but this is a step that threw me off for the longest time. So this is the uh, folder um, I downloaded um, and then it came with these six disk um, files, these disk image files, depending on what version you happen to find, uh, may differ with the amount of disk, but this is the very important step you need to do. Um, highlight all the disk image files and I use 7-zip but you want to extract here. And as you can see we have all these files now. Um, you probably could, um, let me just for this um, video I'm going to delete the six disks that I extracted from. You don't need them. I done it before, this kept them there and it was worked just fine. It's important to have these all in one place because back in the day when you're installing programs, you have to like put one disk in. Once it's done, take it out, swap to a second one. So that's why it's kind of like this. So let's um, select all them. Uh, I'm just going to go from the bottom and, and make sure I, because what I'm going to do is copy all of them. And here we have my uh, C drive. Um, I created this folder. Uh, I named it DOS. You can, I think you can pretty much name it whatever you want. Just know the name of the folder. So we got DOS here. And then I named this one Win and then install. Um, you can look at online uh, guides as well. Um, but I'm just uh, doing this is so I can keep track of it. So the point of thing is we have all those files uh, downloaded here. And now we just have to get through them in DOS box. So let me go ahead and open. DOS box. It does have a little bit of learning curve, but I'm getting some practice to it. So we want to get to that C drive, that folder. So first we want to mount it. So the command is mount C, C colon backslash DOS because DOS is the name of the folder. There we go. Then we do C colon. So we are in that drive now. We In that folder, I believe. How we want it, uh, terminology, I'm not quite sure. Um, but a useful command in DOS, if you put dir for directory, it tells us what's in there. So there we go. We want that folder win. So what we do is cd space win. But I did make a subfolder, so win win. So if we use that command again, okay, install. So install. Oh, wait, we do want to have the cd, cd install. And there we go. And it's called setup.exe. Uh, you can even check the folder if you're not sure. You just want to make sure we open up that application. A lot of them would be like setup uh, or install.exe. So there we go. Just hit enter. We want to do express setup. So just hint enter. And it's going to copy files. Um, and you can, it's, it can be really, you can vary with it. Like you can choose different uh, folders to save it to. The most important thing is like knowing where these are being copied or where to open them again. Um, so it's doing its thing. And there you go. For the setup, it's going to ask for your name. So we're just going to put B Quanchi. Continue. I have these two file copy errors. I'm not sure if they cause any issues. I haven't noticed any issues myself. I just hit skip. And then here's the second one coming up and I just hit skip. So let me know if that may cause any issues or not. And then it's going to ask for print installation to say no printer attach install. And it's going to ask if you want to do a tutorial, I'm just going to skip it. And then I'm going to hit reboot and it's going to close uh, 
DOS box down. We're going to want to reopen it. But before we do, look, the uh, C drive I had, we have new stuff in it. So now this is, it created this new file folder, Windows. And looking through it um, here, MS DOS application win. So that's what we want to get to. Um, so let's open up Docs box again. And do just what we did before. So we're gonna mount C C and C D and then we're gonna do Windows because that's the name of the folder. And just type win. And there we go. And now we have uh Windows 3.1 and Docs box. It doesn't really come with much, but you pull up games, you can play <laughs> old Minesweeper and all that, so pretty cool stuff. Um, you can a lot do it, you, know, you can install like older retro games that depend on older version of Windows in terms of um, compatibility and all of that. And that's pretty much it, but this is just a basic, so there's like audio drivers you need to look into, video drivers, especially if there's games that rely on that. But this is kind of like the really basic. One thing I noticed with uh, Windows 3.1 and DOSBox, your mouse cursor doesn't want to leave it. You can always hit file and exit and close down of everything. Uh, a little trick I learned that if you go to full screen mode, I'm not sure how this is going to look in a couch, but you hit alt enter and hit it again, you can have your cursor back. So it kind of stays trapped into it when you're using it, but if unless you want to close it, you can use the alt enter back and forth to leave it. And then you can just like click on other folders or do whatever you want on your computer. But that would do for this tutorial, this very basic, um, just that first step I really wanted to mention because that got me stuck for the longest time. Not sure I'm going to do much on the channel in terms of gaming with older Windows uh, DOS games, but just something I want to put out there if it helps somebody. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, consider giving a subscribe, uh, any comment for feedback, especially in terms of, con of this video, if it's helpful. Uh, but this is what just worked for me, um, and feel free to try it yourself. So thanks and take care. Bye.